Channel 4 News, I'm Michael Jones. After yesterday's historic decision to legalise marriage equality, the first legal wedding between two women took place today in a ceremony attended by hundreds of people. Jubilant supporters said that this was a fatal blow against discrimination. However, heterosexual couples began turning on each other for no discernible reason shortly after the ceremony resulting in mass hospitalizations and billions of dollars in property damage. Fresh reports are coming in of several freak weather events. Earthquakes measuring 8 on the Richter scale seem to have triggered a tsunami engulfing Perth. Cyclones are sweeping through the northern coast of Queensland. A huge crack has appeared in the middle of the continent swallowing Uluru. Is that even possible? Some commentators have suggested a link between these occurrences and this morning's wedding, claiming that there is no human right to marriage equality. They have labelled these events apocalyptic. That's clearly not going to happen. The way some people talk, you'd think that the world's going to come to an end if a same-sex couple in love get married. And that may in part explain why, when it comes to marriage equality, international human rights law is a work in progress. Because to date, the right to marry has been recognised as an exclusively heterosexual right. But attitudes to LGBTI people are changing, and along with that, our understanding and interpretation of international human rights law. And it may be that the way forward is not through the right to marry, but rather through the right to non-discrimination. Because we have recognised that all people are equal before the law, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. We've seen countries as disparate as the UK, Uruguay, New Zealand, South Africa, parts of the US, recognise that all couples should be allowed to marry. So I think it's just a matter of time until international human rights law recognises that all people should be allowed to marry regardless of their sexual orientation. Really, false alarm. Uluru's fine. Oh, I love you, Dave. And in other news now, how much water do scientists recommend you drink a day? The answer may surprise you. Thank you.